Hi, welcome to Umar Softwares. In this video, I will tell you how you can deploy a Django project to shared hosting. This is an update to my previous video where I showed how you can deploy a Django 2.1 project to shared hosting. But now I have tested this new method with the latest Django version 4.0.4. So it is now possible to deploy the latest version of Django to shared hosting by using this new method. This is the sample project that I also used in my previous video. I am going to use this same project for this video as well. This is a very simple project. It just uh, takes some codes from the database and displays them on the main page. I have uh, also uploaded this project on GitHub. I will share this GitHub link in the video description. The hosting that I am using uh, is the name cheap hosting the Stellar Plus plan but you can also use the Stellar plan. If you want to buy the hosting, you can follow my affiliate link in the video description or go to umarsoftwares.com slash namecheap. It will not increase the price for you, but it will generate some affiliate commission for me to help support the channel. I have also written a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on deploying Django on shared hosting on my website, pythonfusion.com. The link to this blog post is, is also in the video description. You can follow it as well. The first step is to log into your cPanel and select the setup Python app option. This is where you will create a Python app to run your Django project. So I will click on create application. I will select the latest version of Python and in the application route, I will type the name of the folder where I will place the files of my Django app. So I let me type here quotes underscore app. Then I will select the domain where I need to host my Django project. So I will select here this Django.omer.link, the sample subdomain that I created for this tutorial. In the application startup file, you have to enter passenger underscore wsgi.py. And in the application entry point, you have to enter application. After filling this form, just click on create. Once the Python app is created, the next step is to create a new MySQL database. For that, I will go back to my cPanel and select the option MySQL databases. First of all, I will create a new database. So let me name it quotes create database. The database has been created successfully. So I will click on go back. Now I will scroll down to create a new database user. Let me name it quotes underscore user. I will use the password generator here. I will copy the password and paste it in the respective fields. Also, I will paste this password in a empty notepad file so that I can use it later. Here I will click on create user. The user has been created successfully. So I will click on go back. Now I have to add this new user to the new database. So let me scroll down. Here I will select the user quotes underscore user and here I will select the database. Now I will click on add. I will grant all the privileges and click on make changes. Here I will also copy the database username to the same notepad file and the database name also i am keep keeping it safe because i need this information later on in the tutorial once the database is created the next step is to upload the django project to the shared hosting here i will go to the file manager and i will go to the folder i specified here which is quotes underscore app. So I will find this folder here. 
here it is in this folder i have to upload my django project these are my project files i will zip them here now i will upload this zip file to my shared hosting in this folder i will click on upload and i will drag my zip file here it is being uploaded once it is uploaded successfully i will click on go back here i can see the zip file i will click it and then i will select extract i will extract it to the same folder close now here you have to make sure that the passenger underscore wsgi.py and the manage.py these both files are in the same folder if the files are extracted into a separate folder you have to move them out of that folder to make sure that the manage.py and passenger underscore wsgi.py are in the same folder also before uploading the project make sure to not delete the migrations if they are fine if there is some problem with the migrations you can delete them but if there is no problem with the migrations please do not delete them here you have to edit the passenger underscore wsgi.py file i will click on edit you will have to remove all the code and here we will have to import something so if i go back into this base folder and here you can see the wsgi.py from this file we have to import the application so i will type here from base.wsgi import application this base will be the uh, directory name that contains your settings.py so make sure to modify this code according to your project i will click save changes here now let me close it and now i have to edit the settings.py the first thing that i need to do is to add my domain name to the allowed hosts so i will add here django.umer.link if there is a www version of the domain please add that to here in the list now i will scroll down and in the databases i will remove this default database if you go back to my article which is linked in the video description i have added here the code for the database i just need to copy that and i will paste it here here i need to change three things the database name username and password i kept them safe in a text file so let me copy the database name the database username and the database password now i will scroll down from here and i have to set the static url and static root the static url is okay i will add it, add the static root underscore root is equal to here i have to type the path of the folder of my domain root slash static so if i go back to my file manager here i can see that uh, the my domain root is this django.umer.link and the full path is home slash this slash this so i will type this here and then i will do slash static the changes to my settings.py file are complete so i will click on save changes i will close this file here in the file manager i will go back again to the codes app in the django project folder and i will edit this init file
in this file you have to place this code from my blog post so I will copy it from here and paste it in the init file I will click on save changes and then I will click on close the file edits are complete now at this point now I need to go back to my C panel and use the option manage shell I am using this to enable the terminal in my C panel. So here I will click on enable SSH access and then I will go back. Now I will find the terminal option in the C panel. So if I search for terminal it will be there. So let me open it. Here in the terminal I have to enter the virtual environment for my Python app. To enter the virtual environment I will copy this code I will just click it to copy it to the clipboard and then I will paste it in the terminal and hit enter. The first step here is to install Django. So I will type pip install Django. I have tested this with the version 4.0.4 .4, so I am going to install that. The Django is installed successfully. Now I will install PyMySQL. So I will type pip install PyMySQL. Now I need to run make migrations if there are some pending migrations. Otherwise I can directly run migrate. So let me first here run python manage.py make migrations. Now let me run python manage.py migrate. Here all the migrations are done on my database. Now I will run the collect static. If your project needs any other Python modules, please install them here after installing the PyMySQL. So once you have run the collect static, you can also optionally run the create super user command to create a super user. I am not going to do that here. Basically up till this point all your steps are completed and now if I open the domain where I deployed my project. Here you can see the main page is loaded. But there is nothing in the database that's why this is empty. So now let's see how we can migrate the database from our local project to the shared hosting. This is my project folder. I will open the terminal here and run python manage.py dump data into the data.json file. It will export all the data from the database into this data.json file. Now I have to upload this to my cPanels file manager. I will go back here and here where we uploaded our project in the same directory we need to upload the data.json file. So let me click on upload and I will drag my data.json file here. Go back. Now I need to transfer the data from this data.json file into the MySQL database. To do that I will go back to the terminal and here I will type python manage.py load data and here I will specify the json file name which is, which is data.json. I will hit enter. It will import everything from the data.json file into the mysql database. So now if I go back to my domain and refresh it, I will see the data is showing here now. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. 
I recommend you that first you practice deploying with this sample project. I have shared it on GitHub and I have put the GitHub link in the video description. Also, I have written these same steps on my website pythonfusion.com. The link to this article is also in the video description. Also, if you want to buy the shared hosting, you can use my affiliate link umarsoftwares.com slash namecheap. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching.